The hay is in the barn now, the hard work done. It's time to show up. But we all know, as runners, nothing is guaranteed. In the result or the journey. And this journey started a long time ago. The deadline for Boston qualifying was the middle of September 2023. And I didn't have the qualifying time. So we found a secret marathon to run in the south of Thailand just weeks before the deadline. The aim? Don't blow up. Run a conservative time that should get me to Boston. The race was hot, but it went well. 3.35. Job done. Enough to apply. A nervous wait started, but training for the New York City Marathon helped focus the mind and distract from the nerves. The grind began. And then, at the end of September came the news we'd been waiting for. We were in. Get New York out of the way. Loved every minute of it and ran a PB of 3.23. I rested until January, and when I say rested, I mean ran my first two 50k trail races, but they were fun. And then training started up again. The aim of a new PB at Boston was in the sights. We all know training is hard. It's a commitment to a goal that we may or may not achieve in the distant future. So we get good at loving the process. And when we do that, the goal becomes less relevant. The process becomes everything. So we get our head down and grind, day after day, week after week, month after month, to give ourselves the best chance on race day, but all the while creating a disciplined, indestructible will that will mean we'll be back regardless of the outcome on this day. But for now, this day is what we have, and give it everything we've got is what we'll do, because that's who we all are. And if you want to see us go through this all again for Chicago and beyond, you'd better click the subscribe button because it's going to be one hell of a ride. Ah, made it, uh, waiting for our yellow bus. This is Laura. We met yesterday, so we're traveling together and it's a beautiful day. Look at that sky and I think we're good to go. of yellow buses but in a while and kind of thought we were there already and Ben is waiting so I'm really hoping to see him if possible hopefully we'll be there soon okay we made it yeah. oh, it's getting hot on that bus we've missed Ben Super hot. Um, but we're here and we've got about an hour to go so Bring it on. <laughs> Boston. This is 31. Uh, no, this is 30. Oh. So, but being 60, this will be half my life. Oh, that is amazing. Well, have a great day. Thank you. They keep taking well. my money. <laughs> Inspiration. Start village. Here we come. Actually, feeling quite good. Now we're here. We've been to the loo. Like we're on time. All good. Just a marathon to run. Home. I met Team Thailand. Yeah. Um, we live on the same Yay. road in Thailand. Thailand. Had a great race. Yeah. 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 Bye, bye. Ben has started. We just saw it on the app. Uh, luckily, Laura had loaded up the app. But I haven't done that, but um, yeah, he's off. So, go back. It's real now. Yeah. Come on, Benny. You got this. We're off. This is it, right? Are we in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go on Boston Marathon. So those 
those of you that know me know I'm from Congleton and here's Steve from Sandbach Hi. <laughs> just down the road so hometowns unite in Boston <laughs> have a great day and you too just three four kilometers the atmosphere is amazing We're running through all these towns beautiful houses people are just outside partying in their driveway such good vibes yeah, just hoping I settle down. Not quite there yet. Okay, coming up to 8k now. I mean, this is amazing. Just running down a straight road to Boston. My body's not feeling great. Just feel like my heart rate's a bit high. Doesn't feel as easy as I'd hoped. But, so just trying to keep a lid on it and enjoy. Okay, I'm actually at 10k so even better. 46 minutes. Ah, feeling okay. Got a little shout out so Thanks for the runner behind me for that little boost. How beautiful is this? Just coming into Wellesley, 19k. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Feel a bit unsettled, uncertain. Um, not even halfway and just worrying that I'm overcooking it but maybe I'm overthinking it trying to just enjoy it support is incredible um, so yeah can't believe I'm here nearly halfway through Boston now what a what a pleasure soaking it all in That was a 
fight. Got totally cooked. Way harder than I had in my mind. I think I was 3.24. One minute off my PB. But so proud of that. What a race. If you get the chance to experience this, do it. Middle bad, did you just say? Middle bad. Mary was middle bad with yellow cramp. That was quite scary. Get some salt, eat some salty crisps, salty chips. Vanilla milkshake, that's shit, that's not gonna happen. Mary doesn't like milkshake. Is beer good for Beer? Yeah, yeah, probably. Oh. Okay, we're three days post marathon. Yeah. Legs still hurt? Yep. What are your reflections on the actual race? Um, overwhelmingly positive. Like the experience of running Boston Marathon is incredible and it wasn't my day in terms of a performance. I felt pretty flat from the beginning. Um, but I had in my head to not let that ruin it for me because I knew it was a really incredible thing to be there and I just wanted to come away with a sense of enjoyment so I really focused on taking it all in and trying to enjoy the experience even though I knew um, it was painful my body wasn't really up for it and it wasn't going to be a PB or a new kind of level reached. And what are you most proud of? I think the fact that I just kept going and kept digging, like I really, really, really wanted to stop. A bit similar to Ben's story, to your story. Um, but I didn't, I just kept on grinding and yeah, I'm just proud of that, of gutting it out and getting to that finish line. Um, in, a, in a really good time as well, despite how difficult it was. And what's next? Chicago, October. 13. I'm really excited about that. I've got some pretty big goals and yeah, I'm going to have a couple of months off just without structure and really, really having a reset because I think we're both pretty run down and tired and then I'm going to go for it all in for Chicago. 3.15. Let's give it our best. Well done. Great running. Thank you. On to the next. Let's do this.